What's up, guys? She's looking at the Great Bender video, and welcome back to a vi back back to another video. And this video that you're seeing right now, I know it's a late Fortnite video, but that will be uploaded in 2021, the start of the new year, in probably January 3rd, I think, because you know, New Year's is coming in, everybody traveling, of course, everybody's traveling, and um, right now, uh, that video will be uploaded. I promise. And, um, yeah, so this video, well, before we start, uh, there's not going to be that many edits, all right? All clean, just explaining, all right? And it's probably my first ever commentary video, <laughs> okay? All right, so the, 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 um, what's the word, what is called? The, um... The purpose of this video is my final conclusion of 2020 and that it's, you know, how it affected me and affected all of us in a way that we never experienced. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to edit that out. I'll, no edits, alright. So, which is pretty obvious. Um, when it was the start of 2020, I was like, I can't believe it. We're in 2020. Both the numbers, 2020, yeah. And then I got so excited. There was a new year. I was so happy. We in the future. I'm going to start this challenge called the 2020 Challenge. And if you don't know what the 2020 Challenge is, it's basically me making a video that is 20 minutes long within the 20 minute limit like 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 minutes and no more than that or make a video within the 20, 20 seconds or within the 20 second the 20 second limit like 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 seconds and I was like you know what I'm just going to create it I sound you know a little bit weird but you know well, let me try it I only did like what three videos or four videos about it, which is only a one-time chat, one-time challenge, a one-time chance. It's just the 20th day recording a 20-minute video, 20-second video, and that's it. And um, when it was started to proceed the year, some you know a lot of things kept were happening unexpected and were bad. All right. In basic terms, I, I mean, I didn't know about this whole Renaco virus thing, and I said Renaco, not the other word, because you know demonetization, you know, in the future of YouTube, once I once once I go higher, the Renaco virus, and as we all know, it started in, um, you know, the in China, all right. And a whole lot of other stuff. It started to spread. Which. You know. It was pretty scary for all of us. I didn't know about it. And you know. We had to stay indoors. But that was like pushing forward. In you know. Like around February and March. Where it started to become a whole big deal. Like it was. A big situation that we need to handle in our own hands. To make sure that we're safe, uh, you know, clean and stuff, and to not get infected. Now, at first, I I thought it was a whole new end of the world thing. All right, because you know the virus is new that I haven't heard about it. It, it became like a big drop. Basically, 2020 was like a big bully. All right. For just starting off the new year. And. I was like. Man this is a whole bummer. Like 2020 going to start off like this. And yeah. It did happen. And then once it was happening. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement happened. Um, with like the Karen thing. That's going on. About these delusional people. And I didn't even make a Kevin reaction video. Because at first. It was, at, at first, um, I didn't like the whole Karen thing because, I mean, I watched the videos off camera and, you know, I just hate them, alright? I hate them. I don't like the Karens. 
and it became a whole big deal. And it turns out that the the Karen thing was what had a history, which I didn't know about. And the whole Karen thing became a meme after you know the kids the kids Bob Karen, which all started. And then was a lot of uh, Peggy's and and um, what is it like Lauren's or or what is it? Uh, I don't know, Malls or Marys or um, Patties and a whole lot of women names that, you know, that describes a person. And it's basically the slang term of a woman, like, you know, of, of having a big old ordeal of this, this event or thing that's happening. Now, I hate the Karens, alright? It's a good thing I never encountered one, because if I did, whew, could have been a big problem, you know, a big thing for us. And, you know, after the, I, now that these Karen things became a whole problem, pe people should be self-aware about it. And, for the Karens, thinking that the whole, co uh, uh, I almost said it, the whole Ronaco virus thing was fake, it was pretty like a pretty delusional statement and if you can just know about the news and thinking that oh this mask just affects me uh, I have a, a breathing condition that it affects me to breathe in a normal way like a normal person normal person would do and at first it's stupid because the mask protects you when you come in contact with a person and it gets you less infected and it, 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 it prevents you from getting infected by, by the virus. And I find that pretty stupid for people to say that this is just taking away their freedom. And it angers me. And I didn't even make a video about it. Because now that it's becoming a big deal. I just, I, listen, I didn't even make a video about it. Because, I made, because if I made a video about it. It would be pretty useless if I had to be honest. Of course, some people made reactions to the whole Karen thing. I mean, it's fine. You could record videos. But for me, recording a reaction video or a commentary video about the Karens is not my motto, basically. I don't like making videos about those things. Here is this and that, blah, 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 because, you know, it's. it's a, and stuff. I. Alright. And then, after that, it, like. It was basically six months of pure nightmares, of pure hell zone nightmare. You know, the hell zone grenade from Piccolo's attack, but you know, it's just describing it. It was basically torture for us. And then the online school thing, instead of going to, you know, in person school, I mean, that's how I call it, you have to go to online school or text school because you have to text and take a picture and then the teacher will grade it. I mean, that's in my case, but that, but if I had to be honest, I did online class, but it wasn't online class. It was basically texting class, but I didn't text the class. It was basically teachers assigning me the homework, and then I would do it on the notebook, and then my mom has to take a picture, send it to the to the teacher's email or, or me messenger, social media, whichever the one take a picture on it then we will grade it all fine all cool it's okay and that's it so after that um you know even though this whole thing we have to stay in quarantine it it changed us all right because you know i went from an extrovert to an introvert which i've never said that in my, one of my videos all right and then once this whole Ronaco thing uh, was a deal, a big deal, I mean, when I, um, you know, had to go to Walmart, and they had to put, like, an age restriction to, like, you can't put kids in, in the Walmart, only people, I, I, I forgot what the, eight, what the age number was, but, you know, because, I mean, I forgot, I'm sorry, but... It was basically that that like kids or like preteens or kids or uh, underage cannot be entered even with a parent in, in charge like per, with parental guidance but 
you know, be, be, the whole thing is that we can't that I, that 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 the young kids can't go into big stores. Okay, basically, and um, it it was new, like it it was a restriction because I never went outside, but you know, my my dad and ha- had to be the one just buying the groceries because of the whole um we're not going thing which is okay it's all right but you know it's you know it was like a big risk and you know we had to get you know after that we had to get used to it all right and um at first i was scared because once my dad was what came uh came back home i had to say like what 10 feet away because i was scared that i might get the the virus it, it like it like in me okay and it, it, it kept going which is okay and then we started to get used to it and I'm starting not to get that that scared of it and you know the the, the it, and I wasn't even paying attention with the death rate or the case rate or the people recover people with the people getting recovered from the virus which is which is cool which is okay God bless that but the death rate and the amount of cases skyrocketed like it was huge a huge number and I was like dude what the freak man I almost said the, almost said the other word but it it was a shocker because you know I, I wasn't paying that, that much in, into the news which you know I, if I had to be honest I wasn't but now that I am because I missed out a lot because my routine was to pay attention, was watch the news, to keep an eye on the lookout. But now after this whole thing, I was like, man, I forgot. To, I haven't been watching the news lately. I was, and then when I looked at the news and the death rate and the case rate, I was like, dang, that's a lot. Okay, six months went, went by, and even within the six months, there were people making memes, and like I think 2020 was the biggest meme year because of the whole virus thing and the Karens and Donald Trump and stuff and you know what <laughs> it was a lot they were just making fun of it I mean I was fine with it okay you could they can make fun of it I mean it's the internet all right you could take like I don't know like a like like a shoe and 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 and, and, and it will make it a meme it's basically memes in a nutshell basically and um you know we were just watching memes watching social media to cope with it to cope with the um you know the whole quarantine thing and like days into the into um july nothing bad happened so it was like oh the the six months of to- it was basically six months of torture it all ended which i which is okay i guess and um there was something that I didn't know on YouTube that even though YouTube also had drama that Jessica guy took a break off YouTube a month break basically July just taking a month break all of that stuff and the thing is I I mean I mean I haven't been you know keeping it keeping you know alert of you know what's happening in in you know the life of Jacksepticeye and I was like hey what, what happened to Jacksepticeye and he took a break off YouTube because it's understandable because it, it it was like so much that he couldn't even handle or it was so much that he had to just cool off and start fresh which is obvious for all of us and if I had to be honest I, I too was one of those YouTubers. Basically, 2020 was the year that I took the most breaks. All right, and <laughs> I mean, taking a break is all right, but multiple breaks is like you for 2020. We all need to cool off. All right, after this whole year, this whole ruckus thing, and. It's just a lot, all right. And then after that, it was all summer. But instead of spending our summer 
outside we have to spend a summer in the house which I didn't intend to that I mean well of course it's obvious because you know we have to stay quarantined and you know it sucks because we can't go outside and stuff so we and you know we went outside sometimes you know staying in quarantine and being being cautious to interact to interacting with people with the mask on which is okay you know being safe and it was just like that we went outside like I don't know twice three times you know cause the whole thing and a lot of good things happened Speci specifically TikTok getting banned on the US uh, for spyware I was like dang man I I never know that was spyware and I didn't even use the, the app TikTok because of the whole thing I never used it which which which, which you know a lot of even there was challenges that I didn't know of that that got viral on on, on the app TikTok specifically one of those things where there was the better drill challenge and it was like a like a whole controversial viral train but you know it was bad all right and you know TikTok getting banned and Cameron's getting arrested <laughs> which I didn't know about because you know I thought this whole camera thing was what he handled I was like of course yeah it's gonna get handled but you know takes time to you know to solve the case and stuff so after that Minecraft got got a lot of updates like the cave and mountain updates um, whole lot of new whole lot of new games came in and for me I mean, I haven't played Minecraft for like a long time, basically, and and I only did one video, and I'll probably make another one. But like the rest of the six months, it was like a little bit of nightmare. But in the other, but in the, but in the other half, it was a good side. All right, and um, I mean, it, I mean, it was good for you know like game companies and. You know, because we we playing video games and and watching YouTube with, with, with like basically just chilling, all right, trying to find a um, something to cope after this whole um, whole quarantine thing. And um, if I had to be honest, eh, I mean, 2020 was a bad year. Well, bad year regardless, and. It it changed all of us. All right, and um, now that 2020 is coming to a close, and you know we have a lot of um, celebrities that passed away, unfortunately, from you know like Kobe Bryant that passed away from a helicopter crash with reporters, and like there was like 11 people or. Basically, it was like almost 20 people into that heli heli helicopter um, helicopter ride and passed away. And then, unfortunately, and um, we had like the Black Panther that also passed away, which struck me. And one of my goals was to meet like Black Panther. You know, in the future, you know, it's you know, it couldn't happen because he was fighting stage four colon cancer. You know, he w he was a true hero, all right. And he he been keeping his secret with his you know with his uh you know you know publicly and and you know in the internet. And I didn't know that he had stage four colon cancer. And um. Yeah, it was pretty pretty sad. All right, 
I mean, I mean, we we. I mean, I miss uh, Chadwick, and um, yeah, it was it, it was like a it was like a very. It, I mean, it got me speechless. All right, and I know it took a long time for me to make a video because of the whole online school thing. And now that I finally got the chance to make a video, I made it. I mean, I mean, it could have been like a like a like a like a video to honor him for all the things that he's done, all the videos that he made. You know, online school is just pushing us to make our grades. And if I have to be honest, I do hate online school. Now, for the rest of the rest of the year of 2020, um, there's still a lot of ups and downs and pros and cons. But overall, 2020 was a bad year. All right. And I know that, you know, some people say, oh, 2020 was, was, was my year. It was a good year. I mean, that's, that's okay. You could say 2020 was your year. It's all right. But, you know, a lot of people say that 2020 wasn't their year because of how, of how it impacted their lives. A lot of people passed away. A lot of people got the, the virus. Which shall not be named because, you know, the, the, the monetization reasons. It was a lot of good things. And also that happened in the internet. Alright. But, just to come to a conclusion. 2020 was a very bad year. Alright. Just bad. A lot of pain. A lot of nightmares. No good. But it was some good in the, in the, in the other half of the, of the year. And, um, you know, I mean, I took a lot of breaks on, on YouTube, which was a, which was a lot. I, I, I mean, if I have to be honest, I, I don't know how many breaks did, did I take on, on YouTube, but I know that it was a lot. All right. And, um, if you watch my other video, it was like, um, like four weeks. Um, I made a live stream to explain to you all why I haven't been uploading. I mean, when I did make a comeback video, I just, you know, just posted some videos and just stopped. All right. Because of online school, the whole lot of things that are happening outside of the internet, inside the internet, blah, blah, blah. I mean, a lot of things. All right. Now, um, I know that, you know, new games are coming out. Yeah, that's cool. It's fine. But about cyberpunk though cyberpunk 2077 even i didn't know that it was being delayed so many times wanted to be the best game ever got a lot of controversy and um it was pretty bad basically you know a lot of ratings and and, and once it was dropped the, the ratings went, went from like 9.7 to like 2.5 or something I mean, it was a rated M game, which I I am at that at that age, which I will not say because you know internet reasons. The thing is, now that not not now that these new games are coming out, and unfortunately they 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 were, you know, had bad graphics and CD Projekt Red got got a lot of um uh, backlash and lawsuits dropping in. People getting refunds, and and, and um, Cyberpunk 2077 got removed from the PlayStation Store, which was, you know, and I mean, it wasn't a big shocker to me, but at the same time, it was because I wanted to play the game, but then now that a lot of people are are, are finding the game, you know, uncanny and bad graphics, and I mean, I wanted to play it, but then now that I couldn't play it because, you know, bad graphics, I couldn't get it, stuff, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Speaking of that, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, which were the next, next gen consoles, they're <laughs> pretty expensive, alright. And, um, the, I mean, it's new. It's basically PlayStation, but the, um, what's it called? The Wii. 
all right then you know the nintendo wii but in playstation mode and the same same thing goes with the xbox series x i mean i play with the xbox it's cool but i'm not that big of a a judgy um a judgy console uh console uh you know voter but i've been i've been sticking with with nintendo and playstation because i'm more familiar with it but just because i don't own an xbox doesn't mean the xbox is bad all right every console is cool speaking of consoles like ever since the playstation 5 was was and the xbox series x was relevant everybody got it all right every ever since it was released which <laughs> And then, and then once we went to Walmart and saw the PS5, it was like not even, not even close to being released. And it's cool with the new color because with the covers, it's white, new graphics, it's all cool. 2K20, which I didn't play yet, but <laughs> um, or actually it was 2K21, right? I th yeah, I think I think it was 2K21, the next gen console because 2K20. Was night was 2018. I mean, 2K22 dropping 2021, which I might play. I mean, I haven't played a 2K 2K game since two since 2017, which was 2K17 that I haven't played. But yeah, I'll play 2K21 and and see and see how it do. See how see how it goes and stuff. <sighs> Overall, um. Well, I'm just gonna. Well, speaking of consoles, KFC got a console. It's called the KF console, but some people call it like the KFC console because it has a C KFC con KFC console KFC KF console K Kennedy Fried console. I mean, I guess that's what because KFC means Kennedy Kennedy Fried Chicken. I call it the Kennedy Fried console, and. To my opinion, I'm not even that much of a PC PC player. All right, I've been a console player since I started YouTube. I mean, I played PC, but I don't own a PC. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I mean, for I mean, I mean, I mean, like a lot of um, what's the word? Um, a lot of things that happened that 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 were in detail to this console, which is um. Two, two, over 240 hertz, uh, 4K graphics, and the thing is that it can actually cook your chicken, which I didn't know about that. And for me, I would eat. Listen, uh, listen, I, I like KFC, which is cool, but a console from a restaurant, all right, is like out of the random. It just came out, popped up randomly, and it could cook your chicken. But for me. I wouldn't cook my. I wouldn't play games and cook chicken or cook leftovers after I went to KFC because, I mean, it's a good idea, but I'm, but for me, I don't think it's a good idea because, I mean, a console and cooking chicken. Just think about that. All right, I mean, for you, it's cool, which is fine, but for me, it's it's not my model, and. The price is two thousand dollars, which, I mean, it's a rumored price, okay? Which, my God, two thousand dollars, which is a rumored price. All right, they don't know that the the entire estimate, like two thousand dollars for a console, like that's like way over that. All right, like two thousand dollars, I could buy like. I don't know the PS5, uh, 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 the play, the PlayStation. Like basically, but like basically with two thousand dollars, you 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 could you could do like like a whole. Uh, what's it called? Like like, like a shopping spree. And, <laughs> jeez, man, two thousand dollars rumored. I don't. I, they don't know the whole real price tag for it. But two thousand dollars for a console that is really expensive. I can't buy it. And I'm not even a PC gamer, but you know I say with console because I'm more familiar with it. If we if we can all agree, but if you're a PC gamer, it's cool. It, it, you, it, it's fine. But for me, I mean I'm not a PC gamer because it's not my model. All right, I like playing in console because it's cool. 
and I'm more familiar with it, and it's easier. And um, I might be playing some PC games on my computer. I mean, I don't have a PC PC, but I have like a portable game, port portable game, a portable computer that I do own. All right, and it's cool, it's fine. But I'll be playing some games like I don't know, um, Google Feud or the Dinosaur Game, which I which I will purposely disconnect my my internet and then play that game to see how far I can go. But I don't have the the uh, the dinosaur game because it's I don't have what is it Windows? It's basically a different a different brand for the computer. And um, th there's this game called Surf, which is the offline game that you choose that that you play w once the the internet is connected or if you don't have internet. And I'll be playing that maybe in 20 well obviously in 2021 because this is my last 2020 video. Um, yeah. So to sum it up, 2020 was a was a pretty tough year, challenging year, stressful year. Um, a pretty you know, it was a rough year. All right, for all of us unexpectedly nightmare hell zone year I'm like it was basically all of the bad year pain painful year because of the whole uh, virus um testing and well I mean it, I mean that's the good thing that they got the vaccine but and, and stuff and you know they could they'll be fine they'll be all right it's cool but um yeah, 2020 was a was what was a pain was a painful year. Just to sum it up, all right. It was not my year, basically. Quarantine was okay. I mean, there was even a video that said that that the last um, uh, pandemic lasted for four years, and you know this maybe this this is a rumor, all right. This is this is my theory that the whole virus pandemic would probably last for. Probably last for another year or so, and 2020, like this this month of December of 2020, this was like the first year anniversary of the of, of um of the of the of the virus. All right, and um, yeah, I mean, <sighs> this is all, it's all out of script. I don't I don't even have a script for this. I'm just stay, saying this out of my mind. All right. I play new games like Fortnite that you're seeing right now. That video will be up in 2021. But 2020 was a painful year again. I've been saying this multiple times. <sighs> All right. My goodness, the the KFC console. All right. So hope you all hope you all uh, understood and enjoyed this video to sum up my year, the the whole 2020 year for um of 2020. The 2020 challenge, that's that's extinct. That's extinct. All right, it's pretty pointless. But um, hope you all enjoyed. Um, also, I'm gonna be saying this because I said this at the beginning of the video. I will tell this. On December 26 of 2020 was uh, the four-year anniversary of me joining YouTube. Or right, yeah, you probably didn't know that, but now that you know, now do you know. Um. For me, experiencing YouTube for the past four years, it was pretty changing. It was pretty, you know, it was pretty challenging, all right? Because now that I'm growing up and, you know, moving, I mean, you know, moving to, you know, leveling up, like moving up to, to my YouTube status, um, you know, editing and um, recording videos in, in different, um, different, uh, Devices like the PS4, my my computer, which I haven't done, but I will do it probably. But you know, it's it it, it was cool for it was pretty good for um being on YouTube for for four years and having six hundred over six hundred and ninety subscribers, which is a lot, a lot of people watching my videos. But you know, I don't get that many views. But you know, it's all right. Six hundred six hundred ninety people is a lot. Okay. Like, like, you could fit, like, 690, over 690 people is a lot, all right? Even though it's not a 1,000, but it's a lot of people. If you see that in person, or if you put that in numbers, it's a lot of, 
It's, it's, it's basically a big, a big sum, a, a big amount of, amount of things, a, a, a lot of, a lot. It's just a lot. All right. But, and as of and I'm grateful for being part of part of this community, part of YouTube, making new friends, playing new games, play, uh, playing, uh, you know, coming back to playing these games like Fortnite, and playing up playing other new games like um, I don't know. I, I want to be human, Apex Legends, which I will be playing in that in 2021. I don't know what season it is, but season it is. But you know, I'll I'll play it, which in 2021. But yeah, playing out playing out of new games. I mean, it's been like a tough year for me to to record and edit. I mean, I'm not that big, not that much into editing, but editing get, gives like a good taste. I mean, I know that sounds weird. It gives like a good taste to my content. A good taste to my viewers, a good taste of, you know, you know, like a good, a, it brings the audience like, like a good, a good feeling that oh, this is a cool, a cool channel, and um, yeah. So if you, so if y'all, if so if you've been with me for since since the beginning, ever since ever since I started my grind, and by grind I mean my my like my upload, uh, thing my uh, my upload um videos. I've been uploading I, like back then I used to upload like four to five videos which is a lot okay because back in 2017 I used to upload back back in 2017 to 2018 I used to upload like four to five videos which is a lot of videos okay unedited just all plain and clean because I had so much enthusiasm to recording all these videos and being part of this community just to be just to make my goals to get that get that at least the silver play button or the gold play button but once i reach that silver play button i'm gonna reach the de the, de the gold play button the diamond play button and heck maybe the, the ruby play button or the platinum play button but you know just someday i'll get that i'll get that reward as i keep growing on youtube making these videos editing these videos get, making these cool collaborations which it will happen soon which you know it takes time but you know it's all cool all right i'm thankful for being part of youtube and um thing is i'm less than 300 subscribers away well we're less than uh like what two subscribers because we have, we have 697 i think 696 we're close to 700 which i will be doing a special i think um like uh, um hmm I don't know. Like, leave leave your leave your thoughts in the comments. What what should I do for 700 subscribers? And um, yeah, not. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's good that we have a lot of new people joining in, joining in the channel, and we're close to 700 subscribers. I mean, even though we didn't get 700 subscribers on like on the year of 2020, which is okay, but you know. But 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 you know it takes time to reach that to reach that goal to reach that number of people to join your community on YouTube, and once I reach that goal, I'm happily grateful. So I hope you all enjoyed and, and you know un learned, um, well enjoyed mostly about um, my summary, my whole opinion, my hope, my entire conclusion of 2020 of in in my life. Like in in the internet, uh, uh, off video, and even seeing all these new thing, new uh, controversial things like politics and stuff, and the president, um, a lot, and these this YouTube, these YouTubers and stuff of, I uh, uh, I don't know what is YouTuber called, uh, Dream, this not Minecraft YouTuber and these Dream stands. I'm not I'm not that much of a Dream fan because at first I don't know him. And I don't like these dream stands because now that I know what it what it is to to these comments to the commentary YouTubers like Glider Guy and Optimus and I don't know some other YouTubers, but you know it's it's all good. I mean I mean I mean it's all good that, that I know about it, but I'm not that much of a fan because I don't know it. I mean I don't have beef with Dream. I don't have beef with any YouTubers that you know that got controversy, but you know if they're facing some controversy. Um. Oh man. Uh. It's, I'm, it's gonna be a rough ride. All right. Um. Also, before I end it, the uh the magic of Rahat came came back because of the whole controversy of him not giving him the the um 
the, this this a lot of money of this homeless man, Eric, but the um he will ex but uh Magic of Rahab will explain it in this 40, 49 minute video. Yeah, forty nine minutes, which is a lot, a lot of a lot of minutes, which I did watch and I understood the whole story, and even watching some commentary videos explain the whole the whole the whole scenario or scenario of what of what happened between Rahat and Eric, the homeless man. Which, you know, it, it explains a lot, alright? And yes, I did watch the 49 minute, 49 minute video, which is a lot. And it, it was pretty, pretty, um, uh, uh, like, a lot of information that I didn't know. But when, when he puts his side of the story, uh, I suggest you watch that. I mean, if you're a fan with The Magic of Our Hot, uh, um, and if you didn't know that he came, that he made a, a comeback video, the video is called Magic of Our Hot Returns. And um, and if you guys remember that I did a reaction video of, of these uh, pranks that um, that he did, it was like basically him, like a compilation of pranks that he did to these restaurants, like uh, was it like KFC, Subway, um, uh, Burger King, Taco Bell. I mean, they're pretty cool. But then what I didn't know is that he's been facing controversy of him not giving the money to this homeless man Eric that he did about homeless man wins a lottery ticket. Which it got viral, spread uh, a lot of news, but then now, but then now that it got a lot of controversy that he didn't give the money, it, it sets off a whole new, whole new story, a whole new thing. All right, whole new, like it's basically a lot of new. It's basically a different chapter. Basically, I could, I, I know I couldn't keep it, um, you know, in detail. I mean, I couldn't keep it in a word specifically but it was a lot of a lot of a different chapter okay i'm sorry for keeping this video long i have been recording for almost 44 42 minutes which is a lot i have never recorded this long and talking this long but um uh once again i hope you all en uh enjoyed this 2020 my opinion of 2020 in this video i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all have a safe and good 2020 i mean this whole year of 2020 and i'll see you all in 2021 um there was this new emote of 2021 uh basically just popping the balloon i mean in the fortnite um they popped the balloon of 2020 and and uh your your uh your fortnite character or p persona but probably didn't notice but persona means a uh, person in spanish because i'm hispanic probably told my culture but it's basically when your Fortnite persona just pops the the balloon of 2020 and just makes a new one out of nowhere which is I mean I guess I'm not gonna question it and um yeah it just make, makes the balloon of 2021 to start off new yeah so for 2021 starting off new play new games playing the updates of Fortnite because I mean I have a lot of Fortnite videos to be uploaded before season 6 pops in I have a lot of season four, season five, uh, late ones, but yeah. Um, once again, I know I said this like three to four times. Hope you all enjoyed this. My opinion of 2020, of the whole year. My ears hurt from wearing these headphones. Ever hearing outside noises? I deeply apologize. Um, I'm living in my house with my family, obviously. Um, hope you all hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all have a, have a safe 2020 and a safe. 2021 we're all gonna start up fresh start off new we, we, we may have gotten upside downs we may have gotten a lot of bad events that happen to our lives but you know it's, it's a good thing that we that we uh you know uh overcome that and start off new start off positive and start off a new chapter to 2021 hope you all enjoyed this 44 minute video that i've been recording and i will see you all in 2021 and as always, stay safe, stay protected. This is Wolf Dog Gray. Peace.